A lot of my inspiration definitely comes from my understanding and connectivity to my Kwakwakiwa Likuta heritage. But also I'm deeply inspired by popular culture and then I'm also melding with this digital lifestyle. It becomes relevant because it's, it's who I am as an individual. Well, the shapes for me, like Northwest Coast Formline, it's an art form that roots you to a place. It's the crests that make up your clan system, the crests that make up your village and your identity. And these shapes come together through the form line itself, which is the container that holds everything together. Um, but there's ovoid shapes, circles, U-forms, S-shapes, U-shapes, and these all come together to make that story. So the Interventions on the Imaginary series became a way to insert digital tags graffiti-esque markings on the landscape to indicate that we are still here. Emily Picard became important because I saw her almost depicting the Indigenous life coming from a, a vantage point of the vanishing race. So I really wanted to reclaim those colonial landscapes that she was painting and say essentially we are still here. We, have, we haven't gone anywhere. You tried your hardest to kill us all off, but we are still here. As I started producing more works in the series and understanding Emily Carr and discovering through her writings that she was very well connected to these communities that she would visit. But from that point on, the conversation of my work in that series changed, where it became less of a digital tag to say we are still here, it became more of a um, post-humorous collaboration in a way. There's always a something about humor that I, that I like to embrace in my work because it brings people in. Scode and I Do This really came about through terminology that's been used by Indigenous peoples for a very long time. Studis is, let's do this, it's this crunch together, I eat, it's all right. And uh, Skoden is this like, let's go then, right? So it's almost like this war call, I guess you could say, <laughs> this war chant to get ready for the fight. And so that's, you know, that's why I came up with that name. The importance of titling, but it's really important through my work because it, it draws another connection and another layer that I want people to think about when they're experiencing the work. Um, whether it's just strictly through aesthetics and they could pick something up about the concept behind the work, or if I'm just being super fun and potentially silly, <laughs> um, that becomes important to the work as well. And that's what I like about my work too, is I leave it open-ended for people to go out and discover on their own, to utilize this technology that we have at our fingertips 